companies now are trending to go very quickly into the business model canvas or into the value proposition canvas or into the lean startup uh, methodology, which is perfect. It is a very good set of tools that uh, we have there to use. But sometimes we forget that segmentation comes before that. Uh, it comes even before that. It's in the, if you look at the marketing domain, uh, first before determining your value propositions and looking at how your marketing mix will be in order to make a business model out of what you have, of your assets, you first of all have to think about what market you are approaching and what specific customers you want to target. And this is what this, is a, what this uh, workshop is, a, is about. It's about the very strategic planning of, the, of, the, of a company on the strategic domain and on this box on defining the market and understanding the value that you provide those markets with. That's it. That's how it works. And that's what uh, everything goes. In a company, in a small company, or, or in a monoproduct company, or <coughs> in a startup, this is critical for success. I mean, this is absolutely critical because if you do not write, if you not hit right here, by, by hitting right, I mean, if you don't go to, to the uh, target segments, that are profitable enough for you, this can become your death. Especially at the beginning of the product launch, especially it's very, 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 very important. Segmentation, what it is, you, know, you all know what is segmentation. It's, uh, it's splitting and clustering uh, customers in a certain market according to the motivations they have for a certain purchase. I mean, customers uh, they segment themselves. It is not us telling them, uh, you are from this segment, you are from another segment. Or no. Customers, they segment themselves by the, by the things they want to purchase and the things that they don't want to purchase and the reasons why they purchase things and not, uh, not purchase other things. So this is important. Is that, uh, and this is the approach on this, uh, on this method as well, that it is not based on, you know, psych psychographical things, demographical stuff. No, no. It is based on needs. It's defining the needs of certain groups that as they do have the same needs towards a certain proposal, they become themselves a segment. But basically, this would be the framework of this, uh, of to, of this afternoon and of a uh, very part of tomorrow morning. The process is this one. It has two main phases. One is developing the segments themselves by looking at the market. And the other one, which we will go for tomorrow, is to prioritize and select those segments that are, appro that are fit for you as a company. That would become your target segments. Finally, what we will have is a, what we call a portfolio matrix, which is a place where you can see according to, uh, to how attractive a segment is, according to your own uh, definition of attractiveness as well, how attractive a segment is, and according as well on how competitive you are for that specific segment, you make four quadrants and you see a little bit where each of these segments that we have defined is located so that it can give you some insights for strategic thinking. So basically, that is, that is the outcome of, of the process. Out from this, what we will have is a first approximation on how to make a segmentation. Uh, but then you should get the method back home and work with it if you did like it.